Right, before we start, everyone these days loves reality TV, right? Well, this is reality, this is me. This is me. And it's my life. It's my I'll try and make it as exciting along the way for both of us. So hit the subscribe button, click on the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos, and I'll try and get a few out each week. Now, back to business. In today's vlog, I am off to Temple Coffee and Donuts in Kirkstall, Leeds. Now, I've heard a lot of hype about this place. In fact, they've even got their own selection of merch that I've seen knocking around town. So, let's see if this place lives up to the hype. Let's go. First things first, let's get something out of the way. The in thing at the moment seems to be vegan food. Everybody is telling you that they're vegan. Well, Temple Donuts are vegan too, but I've checked on their website and they don't even mention it, which tells me, vegan or not, it doesn't matter, as their donuts are awesome either way. <laughs> Temple Donuts get an amazing review on TripAdvisor. Just listen to some of these reviews. Amazing is an understatement. Donuts heaven. Even before going vegan, I've never tasted a more sublime donut in my entire life. My goal in life is to try every flavour. Well, they sound like I'm going to like it. Now enough of this talking, I'm super excited and super hungry. So let's go and try them out. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I'm going to try the coffee because this looks absolutely delicious. Um, it, it looks so much of a work of art and I don't want to mess it up, but um, let's try this. Oh wow, that is absolutely amazing. Mm. Oh. Mm. Right. right, let's try the donut. This has got to be the tastiest donut that I've ever had. And I've had donuts in the States, I've had donuts here. The, this is just amazing. And look at the size of it. I'm going to go with what the guy said on TripAdvisor. It's donut heaven. few vegan foods on my vlogs now and I have to say you can normally tell that there is a difference with it being vegan but I have to say with this the only difference I can tell is it's better oh. okay so I'm here with Nadine the owner of Temple Coffee and Donuts and I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions first of all Nadine I've got to tell you, that donut was absolutely amazing. Um, and I want to know, where did you get the idea for Temple Coffee and Donuts? Um, well, we had the unit already for my other business, which is Red Temple Prayer, which is an online retail brand. Yeah. We do apparel and footwear. Yeah. Um, one of my biggest sellers was coffee cups. Um, so coffee was a big part of our vibe. Yeah. Um, and when we took on this new unit, we had a lot of space upstairs and downstairs. And we thought, what could we do to utilize the space a bit more? and get local people um, involved in the brand because at that point my platform was um, solely Instagram that was how I yeah. sold everything 
um, and I was a bit concerned as to where social media was going at that point, so I kind of wanted all my peace of mind to know that I had a physical presence somewhere as well. Yeah. Um, so we have friends that own a roastery in London called Dark Arts Coffee. Okay. Um, and we spoke to them about doing coffee, we're both big coffee people, obviously linked to my brand, and we thought, Maybe we'll open up and do a bit of a showroom vibe downstairs. Yeah. Um, you, you do, you do all, you bake all the donuts yourself. Yeah, we've so. recently opened an all vegan bakery around the corner from us, but we have to do everything off site. Yeah. Um, so in the beginning, we were like, what could we do that was fairly easy? And in the beginning, we did externally source the donuts um, and get them in, just because we weren't quite sure. We thought we'd be open maybe two days a week, and yeah. sell about thirty donuts a day, or something like that. Um, and then obviously expanded massively um, and it just seemed like it was a huge demand for coffee in this area because we opened um, and we went up to a thousand donuts a day which has meant that we've opened our own Do you sell a thousand donuts a day? Yeah. That's a lot of donuts. That's a lot of donuts. <laughs> can, I, can I just say, they're all vegan donuts. Yeah. There's nothing on your website that says vegan donuts which is a refreshing change. Yeah, um, we are kind of the oldest of the vegans. We've been vegan for a long time um, in Leeds, and it's so amazing that veganism is becoming so popular. And obviously, from a personal standpoint and an um, environmental standpoint, obviously being vegan or vegetarian makes your footprint a lot better in the world. Um, so I obviously, it's something that I believe in greatly, but I feel like um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a couple of ways you can attract people to veganism and I think the, the, the way we've chosen to do it personally is to be quiet about it yeah. and then for people to try the donuts and then afterwards realise they're vegan and be like, oh amazing, yeah. like veganism doesn't taste any different to well, it, 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 Veganism does taste different than normal donuts, they taste better. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> they, they, they are pretty damn good donuts. Absolutely fantastic. Um, thank you. Uh, one guy on TripAdvisor said it was donut heaven, and it literally is. Oh, that's so. really kind of you but, to say. Uh, well, anyway, thank you for inviting me down here. If you are from Leeds, or even if you're not from Leeds, come to Tem Temple Donuts. I will put the link in the description below to Instagram, Facebook, and uh, all your other social media and the website. And uh, hop down. You've got to try the donuts and the amazing coffee. So uh, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.